is a crossover frequency? Well, let's start by talking about what is a crossover. If you own a pair of speakers at home that connect to a stereo with an amp in it, you have crossovers. Crossovers are a box inside of your speaker that takes the full range of music and says, hey, I want the bass sounds to go to the woofer and I want the treble sounds to go to the tweeter. It's basically a splitter that sends high frequencies one way, low frequencies the other way. Unfortunately, it's not terribly efficient. So the louder and louder the speaker system gets, the more that box is eating up power that you really don't want to waste. So that's called a passive crossover because there's no electricity going to it other than the audio that's passing through it. Now an active crossover, what they cleverly do is they split the bass and the treble at the other end before it hits the amplifier. So it's very easy and clean to split the bass one way and the treble the other way. Then you get a separate power amp for the treble, a separate power amp for the bass, and now the bass frequencies aren't modulating your treble frequencies. It just sounds better. It's much more efficient. The crossover frequency is simply the frequency where it decides, hey, if you're below that frequency, go to the subwoofer. If you're above that frequency, go to the tweeter. It's really that simple. Now, it's not a brick wall. You don't get an exact crossover frequency. It's kind of like this where it fades out of the bases and it fades out of the treble and there's some bleed through, but it's hard to get a brick wall without adding artifacts. So that's kind of what you have to do with that. But when you're using a crossover frequency, what you're deciding is which speakers are best for the frequencies that I have available here. So you might find, wow, this subwoofer uh, doesn't go up very high, so I need to make the crossover frequency lower so that more of the mid frequencies are going to my tweeter and maybe a mid-range speaker and lower, only lower frequencies are going to the bass speaker. But you can have not just one crossover frequency, but if you had a treble, a mid, and a bass speaker, you'd have two crossover frequencies. Where does a crossover to go to the bass? Where does a crossover to go to the mid? And where does a crossover to go to your tweeter? Obviously, this can get more and more complex. There are in-ear monitors that have more than three elements. So there are lots of different kinds of crossovers going on. But basically, that's all it is. It's where does it split the highs and the lows? Uh, and what frequency does that start at or center at? If you have any further questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.